Okay. DAV's up again. He says, hey, guys, question on local GMB Pro. You use the Google Tag Manager to redirect from the website to the GMB website. My question now, why not use a normal 301? Uh, and where can I see how to create that code? Well, in local GMB Pro, I, I if you're in local GMB Pro, you have that code already. It's just a simple meta refresh code, and it's already in the training. Check the summary section of that lesson where I where I teach that because it should be right in the right-hand sidebar. It's just a very, it's a one-line piece of code, right? And uh, that the reason why, instead of using a straight 301, is because it's a meta refresh. Because a meta refresh, the page will load, and then the, the bot will read the directive in the HTML header, and then re, uh, redirect to the destination page. And it's kind of a way, like if you want, like for example, and specifically, and, and I'm not revealing anything here, Marco, so don't worry. <laughs> But specifically, I talk about if you're going to be using a, a, a self-hosted website and you want to inject local business schema or structured data in the HTML header of the site, which is very powerful, then I want an HTML or excuse me, a meta refresh as a redirect to the business site, the GMB website, instead of just a straight 301, because it gives the Googlebot the chance to read that JSON LD structured data before it it redirects to the destination page, which in this case was the GMB website, right? That's the only reason why. If you do a straight 301, it bypasses the redirect URL altogether and just goes direct to the GMB website. But with the meta refresh, and the H it reads the head section and the HTML head section of the page before it redirects. And that way it gives Googlebot the data from the structured data. That's the only reason why I did that. If you're not going to be using a self-hosted website, you don't even need to worry about it. Right. And by the way, for all the GMB stuff that I've been sniping lately, I'm not even setting up websites, um, self-hosted websites anymore, guys. I'm just using the GMB website because it's free. It doesn't require hosting and it doesn't require updating like WordPress does every other day. Right. OK. And um, just yeah, one last thing. You're asking local GMB pro questions. If you have a course, then we have a Facebook group for questions like this where we can go more, uh, more in depth and and just tell you exactly what it is that you need to do or just go into the training if you have the training 